In part two of our demo, we learned that our supplier directory has received rave reviews from the folks in the field. They're thrilled with their newfound ability to access data via their mobile devices, previously only accessible sitting in front of the actual backend systems in the office, and they've already got a change request for us. It turns out that their backend supplier system only has room to store a single phone number associated with any given supplier. And of course, they've got multiple contacts with each supplier, so they've been maintaining a master contact spreadsheet to work around this limitation of the backend system. So they've asked us if we can incorporate the data in that spreadsheet into their new supplier directory. So we begin by dragging and dropping the supplied spreadsheet onto our data palette. And watch the stars flying around. There's the magic happening. The platform has automatically created for us an entity called supplier contact with attributes that map to the columns in the spreadsheet, along with CRUD methods that we can use in our visually modeled logic any place we need to do a create, read, update, or delete of, the, of that supplier data. There's a couple changes we need to make to this before we can use it in our application. We need to change the supplier ID data type from integer to supplier ID so that the platform knows that that's a supplier ID. And notice that true change is telling us that we have a structure that needs fixing as well. So we'll change the ID field in, in our structure to supplier ID and we've got a publishable application. So now we're going to drag and drop our supplier contact entity onto our data tab and notice that we have, we've got a relationship created for us that's going to result in all the SQL being generated correctly. So let's go to our interfaces tab, go to our main flow, go to our supplier show screen, and we're going to create a record list using the scaffolding once again to display supplier contact data for this supplier. And we're going to tune this up a little bit. We're going to delete this column because we don't want anyone to be able to delete our supplier contact data. We'll make the visible attribute of this link false. We could also have enclosed it in a conditional box like you saw in the last demo. And uh, we don't care about people being able to add supplier contact data from the field, so we're going to leave that link there for all the users. I suspect that given the growing number of contacts that they have, that they're going to end up doing a lot of scrolling up and down on that mobile device. So I'm going to move these detail records to a client tab. So to do that, we're going to scroll to the top of our screen. And we are going to add... A container here and we're going to drag and drop one of our rich widgets here a JavaScript library to handle tabs that has been encapsulated in a way that it's usable visually by me without having to understand the intricacies of implementing this in JavaScript so I'm going to change the style of that container to tab wrapper and I'm going to add containers for each of my detail lists within this tab wrapper so I'm going to add three I'm going to add one for each of our detail lists and one for the detail itself and I'm going to change the style of those to tab body and let's give it a title and we're going to call the first tab the detail tab that's where we're going to display the details of our supplier and the second container also tab body and give it a title and this is where we're going to put the um, the products so we will call that products and once again
change the style to tab body, give it a title, and we'll change that to contacts. Now, all I have to do is drag and drop the widgets that contain the details to my first tab, drag and drop my record list that contains my products to my second tab. Oh, we missed part of it there. Let's drag and drop that whole tab table wrapper. There we go. And we'll do the same thing for our supplier contacts. Dragging that to our third tab. Now let's put it in mobile preview mode and publish. So you see that our visual model is being uploaded to the platform once again. It's being compiled into optimized C -sharp .net code. New SQL scripts, rather DDL scripts, being generated and applied to the database server to create the supplier contacts entity and the relationships to, uh, to the supplier entity from the supplier portal extension, and all the relevant pieces deployed instantly to our, data, our web server. Once again, we have our sign-on. We will sign on as a, uh, a sales manager this time. Click on to Allied Biscuits. And we see we have our Detail tab. We have our Product tab, displaying the link to enable me to add new products because I am a manager. Remember, that doesn't display if you're not a manager. and my contacts. And with just a few more minutes work, we've incorporated data that lives in a spreadsheet into our application. From that spreadsheet, we've created the data model, the bootstrap logic to populate the uh, corresponding data table with the rows from the spreadsheet, created tabs to manage that new supplier contact data, moved our product and our detail data uh, to corresponding tabs as well all within just a couple of minutes.